when I pump up, 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 when I Check it. Hey. And like that, I forgot to turn, well, I almost forgot to turn on my microphone. Also, I just realized those bullet holes back there are in the shape of Max, except for the one bullet hole right through the center of his face. <sighs> okay. Let's get this going. I'm, uh, I bet maybe Midtown Cowboys is going to be our first... I hear that... I know that the way Telltale made this... Instead of making an overarching story, they did like five self-contained episodes. <coughs> they made like a five self-contained episodes rather than a, a continuous adventure. Mainly so that they could like... They could like make and release... I think, uh, uh, did they used to do that for a lot of their other games? I don't, I don't recall. But yeah, there's like five episodes per season. And I think the third season, while it is still episodic, it has a more overarching story. And what, what this is, Save the World, is actually, a, apparently, uh, an art 
essentially an art remaster of their first season. The uh, Skunk Ape games kind of like took, I think like kind of uh, were, were given the, uh, all, all like the, the assets and I think they, they took the licensing rights from Telltale and have re-released it as such. Let's just hop right in. Oh my god, I'm wrong. There are six episodes. Culture shock. The former child stars of Soda Poppers TV show are re uh, wreaking havoc all over the neighborhood. But this is no ordinary tale of child stars gone aw awry. There's a dark force behind, behind the Poppers' baffling antics. Using only their wits and a slew of heavy house <laughs> household objects, it's up to Sam and Max to save the day. Well, we got one household uh, object right here. I don't know about that, Sam. That's that's not a household object. Household object. This is the big gun. <coughs> mm. Big gun. Okay, let's get straight to this. I don't know how long ep uh, each episodes are though. But on time to beat, it all seems to point. At least the average time to beat on the whole game is like six to eight hours, so it's probably like an hour an episode. If we don't take our time, that is. Which I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to honestly. Oh, it is. It even says the archives of Telltale Games. <laughs> You like jazz? <laughs> a three fifty seven mag uh, mag is a household object for you though. It's a paperweight, right? And you need all those bullets in there too to help weigh it down more. Obviously. Quit moving around so much, Bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. <laughs> okay, don't scream this time. <laughs> ah, I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Oh Jimmy no! Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. <laughs> Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes, I do. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. Hey, here we are. Ah! <laughs> oh, and I start off, start off by just slamming my knee into my desk. Oh, that hurt. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quiet at times. <laughs> All seven states. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. Oh, that's from the cartoon, I think, actually. Uh, actually, I'm curious. Uh, oh yeah, are you instantly endeared? Just <laughs> right away? Um, I, cause I know there are, there is a comic book of Sam and Max. I don't know, like, how much is just, like, kind of, like, essentially just, like, repeated, like, work in a sense, you know. Cause it was the comic book, the, which was the, uh, the original, the LucasArts, uh, video game. Then they made some cartoons, and then they made this. Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's <laughs> a surprise! <laughs> the coat rack of nooses. 
Oh yes, lush vegetation. I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. <laughs> Self-watering plants. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Hubless. Spell your troubles with emetics, the handbook <laughs> for multicolored happiness, and separate <laughs> your bliss. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. <laughs> Self help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect. I'll take two. Is there more? Is there more commercials? Expel your troubles with emetics. The okay, no. For oh. multicolored. I think I've. Okay. Oh look. Oh. When is it, Sam? You sure you don't remember where you put that cheese, little buddy? Sheesh! You'd think I'd forgotten my pants or something. It's here in the office someplace. <laughs> you don't wear pants. Does that feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. <laughs> Do you ever wonder what life would be like if we were bugs? Sure, I hope. Although I've always wanted to have more arms. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Twenty years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. Ah, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? <laughs> oh look, it's a little uh, sandwich bag. Uh, I think like this was brought up a couple times. Uh, it was both like it was in like the instruction booklet of uh, the Lucas Hearts game. I think they bring it up in the comics and they bring it up in the cartoon. Little little uh, little sandwich bag, Max. Wonderful. Lava lamp. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me! Which is why I haven't tried it. <laughs> okay. Where are we going? Oh. Let's see how it's a little Ooh, rattle. Tiny hoodlums. <clears throat> cheese by the hole! Aha! Oh, there it oh, is! Oh, there it is! <laughs> <laughs> Pile of cheese. Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. Wait, can we, can we just grab something? like Swiss cheese to me. Oh, okay. Click on the cardboard box to open inventory. Okay. Oh, yeah, a gun! <laughs> Crap, it's even called a big gun. I can't <clears> travel <throat> without my trusty firearm. Max! <laughs> Where's the cheese, Max? There. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products! Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. Voila, there we go. Swiss cheese. Or close Just like to that. the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila! Voila? Ooh, a bowling ball. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. Oh! Now we have a bowling ball. Why don't we try to shoot Max? Tempting sometimes, but I become fond of the little guy. <laughs> nice. Okay. Swiss cheese rat hole. Greetings. The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your <clears throat> The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Did I shoot him with my gun? Oh, now, great. Let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Tootie ain't no rat. <laughs> Jimmy, two teeth. I only got two teeth. Click the batch switch between Sam and Max. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. 
I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. <laughs> I'll feed you broken glass. I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry. Hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Can I go now? Maybe I'll lock you in our <laughs> file cabinet. So? In three separate drawers. <laughs> you me, amateurs. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? <laughs> don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait, you would. I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right. <laughs> have mercy. I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up. <laughs> Take your phone and let me go. Oh, oh he did even. Him. I wish I could unsee that. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? <laughs> the commissioner, Max. <laughs> we let him go. Reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance. Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Uh, box and cliff. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. <laughs> Candy, get it? Ooh, donuts. Last month's donuts. Don't throw that out. I'm saving it for a science experiment. You bet, little buddy. Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. Because <laughs> we don't answer them. Oh, we don't get to meet our neighbors? Unfortunate. Pull down, right click or shift to run, double click to run to an object or area. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry! <laughs> they say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need, more lame poetry. Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. Oh, you made me mess up. Yowzers, you are one oh. ugly kid. <clears throat> hey, I know you. Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that <laughs> little, TV show. Little scamp. Soda jerks. It's called the soda poppers, and the seventies are not old. Specs, it's you. Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great. <laughs> Tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? Do you live to paint, or do you paint to live? I don't know why I do it. I just have to paint. <laughs> I love, so I live to paint. How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg. It's Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. I'd rather try a fried egg. Oh, wait, I can't swap. Okay. Ibo sounds like I an Bo. electronic archery toy. Ibo is the truly visionary ocular fitness program. Try the video today. Where can I find Train your eyes they with this hypnotism. You should get it. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. Ibo. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. <laughs> unoriginal. Like people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? <laughs> Everyone loves Brady culture. Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? What? No! Where? 
I'm just pulling your dwarfish leg, my friend. Don't do that! <laughs> you messed up again. Is that a fly in the paint there? What? No. Where? <laughs> just kidding again. And people wonder why I need therapy. <laughs> poor, poor therapy. Did you take lessons to learn how to do that? No, it just came to me one morning. This morning, in fact. That's how, that's how art works, right? Is this art, or is it advertising? I, I, I'm not. Is there really any difference? Good point, little buddy. Well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next. Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. Max, you've got the TV schedule memorized. Weren't the soda poppers going to be featured on one of those grim celebrity tell-alls today? Oh yeah, on channel 173, the Child Star Exposé Network, which we only get when it's convenient. Newspaper. Says they've bred a horse with <coughs> eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. <laughs> twice as much. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. Oh God, fun? beans! They don't. Oh no, hold on. I need to. I need a screenshot that for the Looks Discord. Like he's got Boston baked beans in there this no. month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. Let's see. There we go. Beans. <laughs> Bosco's inconvenience story. Your family may be in danger. See page two for details. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? <laughs> Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist. A munchkin terrorist. He'll be the death of us Oh, all. God. Munchkins. Where is this Lilliputian agitator? <laughs> Lilliputian. Are you blind? He's right there. Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers. He's just he standing there, there menacingly. <laughs> yeah, wizard. <He's> no <laughs> wizard. Star? Oh, just lock him up and throw away the jail. <laughs> throw away the whole jail. Exactly. What is the nature of wizards? Malfeasance. He's delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's Ibo. What is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. This dude sounds like idiot. your dad with <laughs> fear <laughs> short people. <laughs> and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. Hm. It makes no sense. I smell... <laughs> A conspiracy. Uh, conspiracy theories. The hot weenies in an updraft. No, it's definitely a conspiracy. <laughs> Why can't it be both? Have you actually witnessed this Ibo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes. He keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got one video <laughs> number and serial leak taker. Not even the National Guard can Oh, look, big name. smokes. Smoke. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the, government, the media, the mafia, aliens, aliens computers, computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, lint, pastrami, hairspray, stop tell right there. <laughs> Telltale <laughs> video games. Oh, so that's what you'd like to believe. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, never mind. Okay. So all this wizard character's doing is delivering videos. And abusing his bathroom privileges. That's it? Did he steal any of your overpriced merchandise or at least try to disembowel you with a sharpened spork? No way. I've got B-Tads. The single most technologically advanced security system ever conceived by the human mind. A brick. <laughs> is it a brick? B-Tads? Is that one of those acronym things I've been hearing so much about? Yep. Bosco Tech Automated Defense System. I made it myself. It's wow, a brick. I always wanted to automate my defense. How does it work? Well, just pull a weapon. You'll see. 
or try to walk out of here with something. Go ahead. I dare you. Maybe we will. At the risk of sounding callous, how come your fancy pants defense system can't even stop Small Bladder Boy over here? Small it Bladder Boy. It was designed to keep people from taking stuff out of the store, not from bringing it in. All ah, right. A rare case of reverse shoplifting. Shop dropping. Hmm, Shop yeah, dropping. I suppose so. One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. A couple dozen. And you should take a few yourself. How can I be calm with a munchkin terrorist in my store? I think we got it. Okay, anything else? We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. We're gonna patronize, patronize you. patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he <laughs> meant. Don't patronize me. <laughs> so, what do you want to buy? What, what do you got? got? Well, I I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese. I want that. And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. Is it smokes? I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh, you yeah. had me really at grenade launcher. Well, it's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guaranteed. I feel really close to you right now. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be $10,000. <laughs> 10,000 bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Or one really big one. You mean... White Collar Crime Drive. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice <laughs> in their ill-gotten gains. <laughs> After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. That's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's good, too. We'll take I guess we'll just take the cheese, then. just been sitting out in the open for everyone to touch. I can't scan it from way back here. You've got to bring it to the counter so I can ring it up. Do we have to do everything around here? <laughs> Stop and go, more crimes. Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Nothing for us right now. Oh, darn it. No, I should have kept going with that. Hold on, hold on. Uh, we want to buy something. Ah, what you got, you... Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. What? Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. Hey, no. Uh, I remember that one. That was from uh, the LucasArts game. Remember? Uh, shoot, it, it, it was the the naturalist. Like we we we, we grew a, a fruit in the shape of its face. Uh, it was like John Deere. No. Oh shit! I can't remember. It was something like that. Do you have any candy pink fat boys? Nope. Candy pink fat boys? Do you have any exiled political dissidents? Nope. Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? Do you have Oh, that's any... obviously. Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Okay. Nothing for us right now. We exhausted okay. it. I love we'll these boys later, so much. Oscar, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pint-sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all. Oh yeah, let's test out, let's test out his uh weapon, uh his protection system by pulling a gun. Oh. Hmm. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Clean up on L3. You okay, Sam? I'll need a new skull, but otherwise no complaints. Bosco's is a gun-free zone. Gun-free? Sartre was right. Purgatory really is a convenience store. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, little buddy. It jiggles my sensitive cranium. Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. Is that $11,000 he's trying to charge? We want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? Okay, cheese, man, we please. want this cheese. Okay, standard cheese background check. I'll need to see at least six forms of ID, a valid federal <laughs> cheese license, a completed organ donor card, a written release signed in the presence of a notary public, and your school report cards from the 9th through 12th grades. That's pretty inconvenient. It's okay, Sam. I can be brave. We'll just have to struggle cheeselessly onward. 
please is give such us a cheese. Is absurdly extensive background check really necessary among friends? Better safe than dead. That's what I always say. You're worried about death at the hands of a cheese? Listen, pal. He's lactose intolerant. Cheese point. You ever stare down the shaft of a cheese poised to end your life in a heartbeat? <laughs> I don't think so. Don't tell me what I should and should not be worried about. Right. Uh, you know what? Forget the cheese. We don't need it that bad. Nothing for us right now. Okay. But we don't need a background check for the, uh, what do you call it? The no, grenade launcher. Lunch today. We just need $10,000. Hot weenies. Look, Sam, Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. Damn, look at this boy go. Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need <laughs> Mr. to be Wizard. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. Everyone knows about my small bladder. What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. Free. My cousin's wife's dentist loved your show. Oh, yeah. We've always been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey, kids. Guzzle soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. Max, your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. Any chance we could do it? Sing, sing the song. The show? Yeah, the theme song. What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks. But I can't sing it. I'm too embarrassed. Oh, you're so embarrassed. How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You could write to Max. Thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more videos to deliver. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? Do 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 do. Let's connect the call sure, quickly. Sure, but there I don't go. sign autographs in there anymore. There was an incident. <laughs> uh, Are you anything like the character you played on the TV show? Yeah, like do you really have to hit the John every five minutes? Sometimes every three minutes. It's like having a superpower. Yeah, superpower. Totally. Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Yeah, what was it? Bowl cleanser, adult diapers, erectile dysfunction? All three! <laughs> All three! Well, that's nice. What is? What's the story with these videos? Oh, look at, look at the back. <laughs> it's like a bathroom the terror level. This regimen for people on the go. What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Is that how you're so? Is that how you can uh, run like the Flash? Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I? Chopped liver? Oh, no, you're a wizard. Sorry. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his genius, I program say. is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. Did Bosco hmm? actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you free! just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and ocular fitness. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's nice. What is? <laughs> What's nice? I don't get it. Are you aware that you're breaking the law? Come on, guys. There's no law against giving away free stuff. Unlawful deliveries are punishable Free under bullets. Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal, Private, Public, Professional Conduct Penal Code. You made that up. True, but we could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. I have to deliver these videos. Boy, what a monotonoid. Can we arrest him now? In a minute, little buddy. If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. Fine, we'll take one. 
free videos, don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's IBO for ocular fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing, roll your eyes at lightning speed, <laughs> lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Damn. Oh, good. I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel coated sugar logs. Sugar logs. Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Tongues placed on freezer become property of Bosco. Damn, he just quite a few tongues that way. <laughs> he just takes it immediately. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. What is that? Carbonated sugar water. Wonderful. Let's Public go use bathrooms. Unholy temples to all things unsanitary. I wouldn't go in there for all the tea and tea landia. Tea landia. And we never saw him ever again. Uh oh. Time out for number one. Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. Oh shit, he even has a, there's even a little Mac sign on there. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Nachos. They're mine, nachos. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe you had me time. at microwave. Sludgies. With 100% all natural sludge. This week's flavors wheatgrass and meatloaf. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, meat. It's the tinge of liquid meatloaf. Is coffee especially appealing? <laughs> Slightly frozen, slushed like meatloaf. Oh, God. Oh, let's go take Wizard's Crate after we use the restroom once more again. Ooh, fun. Here he goes. Uh-oh. Nature calls. Time out for number one. Maybe it's his high metabolism that causes him to have Whee! such a crate that delivers oh. Bosco's terror. <laughs> a crate that delivers no. Bosco's terror. No, keep it to me. Now put if cheese in there. If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. Oh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it. What the? Bap. Time out for number oh. one. We're saved. That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. Oh my God. <laughs> classic. That's gross. Just classic. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. Mwahaha! Uh, Mwahaha! Still not quite right. Mwahaha! Uh. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh. Yeah. What do we have here? Organ trader? Cell phone? <laughs> that hot buddy. Oh, let me see that. I don't want to wake him up. Buy one, get Whee! one. Special. Buy Whee! one, get one. What a deal! Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Wait, does that mean Sam? So Sam is nearly seven feet tall. I just he said he was like eight feet tall. It's probably inconsistent, you know, cartoon things. So I guess we'll just leave him there. See you later. He's just taking a nap, okay? Uh, so how do I deal with this boy? And <laughs> now to bury the body. Hmm. 
takes me back to my childhood. Because <laughs> he's a dog. So, we should probably watch the video then. I don't know how to get rid of this boy. I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. Look at him run. This. Oh. Oh, hey. The DeSoto. Where are we going, Sam? <laughs> Let's go give a ticket to a rich criminal. Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! Wow. I was, I was honestly expecting a smash cut from me and like Sam, camera I'm into the sure car. I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already planning on it, little buddy. Oh yeah. Click the office icon to quit driving. Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. Please accept my condolences for your taillight. <laughs> Sam one, taillight zero. No? Nothing else? Okay. Oh, I wonder I wonder like what driving is actually really going to do in the future. Like Swish, 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 swish. People of Earth, we come in peace. Just kidding. Prepare to die. So maybe driving will do something later on, maybe? I like that the buildings are just kind of growing <laughs> in the distance. Okay, I, can, I think we're done with this for now. We weren't able to find white collar criminals. Unfortunately. Oh, I can actually use the, uh, the, the arrow keys to walk around. Tailbox with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose, ah, memories. Oh, memories. Sybils. Psychic telegraph. Uh, psychic therapy. Oh no, another one. Welcome! You look like you could use some therapy! Not from a wide-eyed circus freak like you- Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Me? Right, you're, uh... Peepers! I don't know what you're talking about. My Got a name is giant Andy peeping Andy, eyes. Licensed psychotherapist. How about a little analysis? Certainly. Tell me what's bothering you. Uh, the state of the world. Uh, it's not me. It's Max. Hey. This is a rabbit. <laughs> I am a rabbit. See. <laughs> yes, well, I would recommend Brady Culture's Ibo video for this situation. Good eye health helps combat delusions. My I'm eyes used to be. <laughs> Ibo? Yes, I'm a rabbit. Run it. Poached egg like eyes could use a workout. You won't regret it. <laughs> Have you got a copy of this cockamamie video? I'm all out, but they probably still got a truckload or two over at Bosco's. What's high bro exactly? Ibo! It's called Ibo! It's a system of <laughs> ocular exercises! So you can do push Oh god, you're right. Your he is a human SpongeBob. Just watch the video. Enough said. 
Are you sure your name is Sybil, not Peepers? Absolutely! Sybil Pandemic, licensed Pandemic. My name is Pandemic. He's trying to pull a fast one, Sam. Where's your gun? Violence is not the answer. Since when? Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. Obviously. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure! And then I pulled my gun out at him. Like this. I can see you! Whoa! Where'd he go? Hey, there he is. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. Bap. Cheeky. Ah, the cheeky. Pulled over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody there? Can I the play Newton's with that? balls. Ah, it's good exercise for the eyes, but Brady Culture's Ibo video is better! Oh, yes, uh, the fox in its natural the habitat. Are truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. It's eerily lifelike for a fake plant. The same could be said for a lot of our friends. <laughs> uh, tissues? Door. Thank God! I've been locked in that closet so long I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. I've got to sit down. Oh my god, he's still here? Call a cop! You're we are a cop. Sam and Max. We're freelance, freelance police. police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! <laughs> but he's, my, he's pal. my pal. You're friends with that overgrown sociopathic child? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant this overgrown sociopathic child. <laughs> I thought psychotherapists didn't use words like lunatic. Really? Does it say that in the handbook? The psychotherapist's handbook or the lunatic's handbook? There's a difference? What's the charge? Assault, kidnapping, identity theft. Those are good charges. Some of my favorites. And what about mopery? He locked me in the mopery closet mopery. and he's pretending he's me. Gadzooks, why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference or latent unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. Yeah. How you know? He looks so normal and lifelike. <laughs> I'm a licensed psychotherapist. It takes a professional eye. Can we borrow your eye? We'll bring it back. Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis. Yep, that's what I said. Are there steps we can take? Soothing music or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? A uh, violent treatment, blunt force trauma. Treatment. Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Knock them unconscious! Now you're talking! I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done. Huh. Max How do we knock him out? A finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. That looks comfortable. Oh, it is. How would you know? You don't have a tattoo. Don't I? <laughs> we can't tell with all that fur. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing, or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. Oh look, attack o'clock. It's getting late. Hey Sam, if it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. And open. There's a cow up there. Okay, let's keep talking to this guy. Hey, peepers. Sybil! Right. You sure move fast for a man your age. Well, a constant diet of beverages loaded with caffeine and sugar gives me the blood pressure and heart rate of a hummingbird. Sam, if he doesn't stop eating and drinking, hummingbird? he will die. Gosh, little buddy. Oh, yeah, the boxing glove. Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? 
Could we see your driver's license or some sort of ID? Sybil. My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic, you? I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't think it would. <laughs> You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm Civil Pandemic licensed psychotherapist. Right. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure. So, boxing glove. Let's give that a go. I can see you. Please stop doing that. Hmm. I probably got to do something like to trip him up or something. Uh, bowling ball, I peepers. Can see you. Whoa! Hey, there he is. You attack just comes naturally, I guess. Okay, so let's go watch the video first then. We'll be right back. Relax. Is there anything back over here? Lefties? Let's see what's in here. This place used to be Lefty's tool rental shop. Good old Lefty. I'll miss him. You couldn't stand Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with the number three socket spanner. Exactly! Good times. I miss poking him in the eye. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Oh, I wonder if we can just... I wonder Whee! if we can just... Use... <laughs> I wonder if we can just uh, boxing glove this guy. Caffeine rush. Sweet carbonated beverages in a pig trough. He's... Who would have thought such tiny legs could move so fast? Wow. You made me mess up. Hmm. Yeah, let's go back. Let's go continue. Let's go watch this in the office. We solved one. We solved one of them. Light on. One of these days, we're going to finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. <laughs> okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Videotape. VCR. Okay, Max. Ready for that ocular workout? No! Stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick, before it starts. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. I'm Brady. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse, the massive worldwide television hit that ran. I wonder where they keep the popcorn that's not in this office. <clears throat> what you are about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines. <laughs> you love me. You adore me. You want to name all your children after me. <laughs> I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. That's that's Man, that's look. that's Ocular. give me too many rats named uh what do you call it? Two teeth. I think I like him better this way. We've gotta find this Brady culture and stop him before yeah, Brady culture. every consumer of cheap self help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. <laughs> you gotta you gotta feed it every day. Yoo-hoo. Tiny hoodlums. Damn, he's gone. Yeah, what about this open window? Can we do something with this? Ooh, we gotta get him there. Is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. And then we just gently knock him out with a bowling ball. How do we mess this up? Do we just shoot it? Caffeine rush. Damn it, you see me from coming. You made me mess up. Okay. So how do I get him hey, to Max. 
Let's talk some more about... What about it? Well... But you have to agree to pay... Sorry. Oh, there we go. Hey, a can of spray paint. And it's not even empty. Whee! Paint, paint, paint. This could use a little improvement. Oh boy, what are they, what's it gonna do? The artiste. Hey, 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 Beautiful. You messed it up. Oh, now I've gotta fix it, brain freeze. Call me brain freeze. What? Are, you know what? I'm not even gonna feel sorry for dropping a bowling ball in his head now. Let's see. The bowling ball needs a little bit of fresh air, so I'll just put it here on this perch. Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. <laughs> you made me mess up. <laughs> now this is quality television. Except, hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, he's getting better. <laughs> better, well, better. We've our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one more second. Okay, let's go. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna take a quick restroom break because I have been drinking too much water and soda. And I'm back. Okay. So, we have two uh, tiny men knocked out. 
So all we gotta do is figure out the one at the therapist, uh... ...section. I don't know if I exhausted all of his dialogue yet. Hey, uh, Sybil. Did you do? You're under arrest. Under arrest for kidnapping and impersonating a psychotherapist. Ridiculous! I'd never do that! You're definitely a psycho something! Uh... Hmm. Excuse me. Sure! Maybe we'll ask her. Hey, Sybil. Hello! <laughs> I meant the other Sybil. So, you guys gonna take care of this imposter or what? My head is leaking like a cheesecloth canoe. I'm ashamed a cheese to say cloth I canoe. What told us to do. Just knock this guy unconscious. Hit him over the head or something. It's too fast. What happened to your tattoo business? Don't tell me they actually enforce those health code violations. No, no, of course they don't. But a guy came in here and asked me to put a ship on his chest, and I misheard him, and, well, I decided oh. to hang it up after that. Oh, no. <laughs> See, this is why you always... You don't, you don't just drop in and get a tattoo. You gotta, you know, work with the artist to create, like... <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't go in there and ask someone, just freehand something on to me. <laughs> Excuse us, we've got work to do. I'll say. What advice? I have the strangest urge to redecorate. Fight it, Onto Sam. his face. I can see you. Please stop doing that. Gun. I can see you. Whoa, where'd he go? Hey, there he is. You attacked a licensed. Just comes naturally. Hmm. Is there anything in here? No. Hmm. Do I do something to his eyes? No, but he's always going to see me coming. I think those might be iron-ons. Convenient! Da da da! Oh, space actually pauses. That's kind of Please handy to know. Okay, um... Damn. I guess maybe we should go back over to Bosco's. Maybe there's something there we didn't pick up. Shoot it open. I don't shoot it open. Who's there? Oh, <laughs> it's just you two. Yeah, oh yeah, like maybe hey, maybe Bosco. I can get the tear hey, gas. You just go. Uh, yeah. We want to buy something. Ah, uh, what you got? We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be $10,000. Oh, were you serious about that? It's a bargain. Trust me. Trust me. I never trust a man that says trust me twice. <laughs> we gotta find an illegally wealthy motorist. And quick! Oh, maybe we... we, we right now. Oh, maybe we see. really do gotta actually... See you later. Remember. What? The conversation we just... No, see here. What conversation? Oh, brother. I guess the driving uh, minigame was actually legit, not just kind of, like, randomly thrown in. Like, the last time. The main reason I was so, like, easily to dismiss it was because, uh, there was, like, a driving minigame you could do in, going, uh, Sam? Hit the Road. Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! And you didn't really do anything. Okay, so we gotta find a rich uh, motorist. I'm assuming it's probably we gotta look at their license plate. Cockman. 
Probably not it. Okay. Can I get a whoop whoop? Whoop whoop. Hey, drug dealer. I could do this all day. <laughs> Please accept my condolences for your taillight. Infinite bullets. Oh, there we go. This is your first and final warning. Pull over or die. <laughs> Hello, we're freelance police. And you're not. Ergo, we call the shots around here. Oh, why did you stop me? Your taillight's busted. But you're the ones who broke it. <laughs> point being, hmm, you're the one the who broke it. Taillight. Why isn't it ten thousand dollars? What? Are you crazy? Uh, oh, one moment. Uh, allow me to confer with my legal counsel. Uh, my attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some accounting to do. Oh my God. <laughs> And like that, we have $10,000. Of laundered money, you know. We're gonna go launder it over here, at Bosco's. Hello. Hello? Hey, Bosco. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... We want to buy some. Tear gas. Got tear gas money right here. Look at that. That really? big bag of money. All right. Here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Now put that away before someone gets hurt. What do you mean? Ten thousand just cover the cost of materials, you know? Oh, I'm sure. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. <laughs> uh. I knew it was gonna be something onion related. I just didn't really think it would be like one of those hand shredders. Okay, let's go uh throw onions into this poor adult man child's face. Hey peepers, uh are you allergic to onions at all? Oh Sybil. Yes. Uh the other Sybil. What is that? Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. <laughs> but it will make you cry. Don't try this at home, kids. Please, Sam, allow me. Now, peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding. It'll definitely hurt you more. Sweet dreams, peeps. I can see you. <laughs> oh, my, that was great. That was great. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins. The dog and bunny will rue the day they cross me. Rue the day. Rue the day, I say. <laughs> hey there. Hey, he got, he got his evil lap down. You too. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. You just slap Take him in the face. Control of your mind. I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What? Hey, what am I doing here? What's going on? What's Sybil? going on? My name's not Sybil. It's Peepers. Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream. And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes. Yeah, Brady Bradley Culture. Culture. Was there. He kept telling me to do stuff. And name it, oh, my children after I knew him. It. 
That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy. <laughs> Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? No, but Nothing we did just <laughs> drop kick uh, oh, onions into your eyes. Oh, where, where'd he go? Oh well, okay. Let's go. Let's go wake up the other two. What the? Is that you, Max? You hungry? Hungry boy? Uh, take control, take of, your control of your mind. Do Is it. it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby. What? What's going on? Why is my outfit all wrinkled? He's back. Quick, Why am I an artist? Change. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's 227 something. Wizard would remember the street. He always does the driving. Can you take us there? Are you kidding? I've got hours, hours of ironing to do. There well, he goes. That was well, hopefully he'll use the restroom again before he drives us, since he could only hold it for three minutes, apparently. Hello. Hello. Take control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. <laughs> you just point, you just T pose at the guy. <laughs> Take control of your mind. Where am I? Where are you? Kill the intruder. Sorry, we're freelance police. Police? Oh no! He's getting away in that truck. Quick, follow that soda popper. And away we go. Hurry, Sam. He's getting away. Oh god, is, is that is that their song right now? Watch out! Beam rush. God, how long is this car chase going? Take the wheel, little buddy. Oh. Got him. Got him. Yes. Don't shoot. Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. <laughs> we hunt for sport. You always see cops on the news beating up some guy just because he's a former child star. <laughs> we would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh. Why didn't you say so? It's right over there, across the street. Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly convenient. Thanks. Um, does anyone know where I can find a bathroom? You're in the city, every alleyway. <laughs> every alleyway is a bathroom. Oh, great, I love that. By love, I, I mean I don't. Disturbing little monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. <laughs> I worked in a cubicle. What'll we do? Let's go in and dispense some frontier justice. Hmm. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently, it's common in former child stars. 
Symptoms include, uh, let's see. Nausea. Obsession with money, violent okay. reactions to hairstyling, and an unconscious desire to marry one's mother. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. Okay. Uh, then we just... Just pop that in here, right? Hmm. It didn't like it. I bet we have to get that officially filled out by a licensed psychiatric professional. Trust me, I have experience with these things. Damn, look at that. Anything else we need to get? No? Uh, Mole Man. Looks like a shifty character to me. Don't they all? Oh, wait, I remember the Mole Man. Where are we going, Sam? Let's go back, back to, to the, the office. office. <laughs> Vehicles will be stolen. It's a promise. Sybil. We need to be diagnosed with child star disease. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, violent reactions to hairstyling, and an unconscious desire to marry one's mother. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you! Will this be painful? Only yes. Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple <laughs> things we can try. We could look at some ink blots, we could try some free association, I could interpret your dreams for you. Uh... What do you think, chat? Ink blots, free association, or dream analysis? Ink blots? Hell yeah. Ink blots work. And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions, or uh, obsessions. Take a look oh. at this and tell me what you see. Money. <laughs> Steven Lucy, Lucy holding an Emmy. <laughs> There's only one left on the back to drive. Uh, I, I hate that there are four options, but realistically, we're all. Yeah, it's Mothman. It's so obviously Mothman. I mean, they're all Mothman. I see you have an obsession with Mothman. Uh. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Interesting. Now, how about this one? <laughs> the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Uh... An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. And this? Uh, Mothman, again. Yeah, Moth-Eaten Wallet. It, it, it's a sign. My Uncle Louie's Moth-Eaten Wallet. Now this one. What do you see? Yes, 20 nuns with machine guns, obviously. 20 nuns with machine guns, out for vengeance. And what a movie! One? What a movie title! Uh, do a debit card fed through a document shredder. Yes. Well, judging by these, you seem a little hung up on money, but I wouldn't call it an obsession. Thanks, Doc. Do you think I might have artificial? Maybe, but. Pe okay, fine. Can we Let's do, do this again? Blocks? Sure. Take a look at this. We'll answer the right ones. Do 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 do. Uh, pennies. Pennies on the eyes of. Interesting. Now, how about this one? I love that I can just brute force a. <laughs> no, I, absolutely. I'll the the twenty nuns with machine guns out for a vengeance. That that's just a wonderful uh, uh, like movie title, comic book title. Just have that exist in real life. <laughs> Uh, an SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. And this? Maybe if if there was more kind of like back and forth dialogue between like Sam and Max in each of these responses, yeah, then maybe I'd cycle through them. But if all he's doing is reading out loud and then moving on to the next one, I'll probably just, you know, go with the right answers. Uh, 
This one? My Uncle Louis moth -y. Now this one. What do you see? Ellison at the exchange. New York Stock Exchange. And this one? Uh, debit card. Debit card fed through a document shredder. Hmm. Well, judging by your responses, you see that's a symptom of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark it on your chart. Very interesting. We should test you. Whatever you say. I'm not a sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. Tomato. 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 Hey, I'm getting hungry. Tomato. Potato. What's free association like? It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing? <laughs> mm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Uh, tumbleweed? Uh, shit, what was the symptom? Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Well, that's what we're trying to find out. Hmm. Subject questions mental health after hearing trigger word. Now try <laughs> this one. Crown. Uh, crown? Um... Crap, what, what was the second, uh... Symptoms form again? I think I might have artificial personality disorder? Well, that's what we're trying to find out. Hmm. Comb. No, Hello? no. Hey, stay away from my... Subject attempts to usurp the role of his therapist. Possible childhood analytical trauma. Well, this has been illuminating. What's the Wonderful. Word? I'll let you know after years of insanely expensive treatment. <laughs> to support small local businesses. We can always sell organs on the black market to raise the cash. Just so they're not ours, little buddy. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to hairstyling. Hairstyling? Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just... Ready? Sure, go ahead. Cow. Um... Huh. Cow? Hair... Hmm. How do I spin this into hairstyling? Tiki? Ah, the Tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap... Subject displays symptoms of ironic nostalgia complex. How about this word? Drill. Mmm... Max. What do you think of this free association stuff, Max? Seems like a crack of weak tea to me, Sam. Hmm. Dialogue with imaginary friend. <laughs> Max isn't hey, real. Not imaginary. <laughs> if you say so, dryer. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Whee! Does that count? Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Trigger word. <laughs> Max was never real. Possibility of Finfelter syndrome. Well, this has been a. Li Am I sane? The jury's still out. Your reactions didn't tell me anything conclusive. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to hairstyling. Hmm. Hairstyling. Uh, let's go with dream analysis first, and I'll just let the other one kind of like stew in my mind. Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Youch. Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, here goes. My dreams always start in the office, but this time things were different. Mmm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. Uh. Oh, yeah, that guy. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? Uh, it was Max. Max. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm standing right next to you, lady. In your dream, was Max doing anything unusual? Well, he was saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the tune of Camptown Races. I pledge allegiance to my gun, doodah, doodah, doodah. doodah. But that's not unusual. 
I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Mmm. The rats are pests. They represent something bothersome. Tell me, what was in the hole? It was a hot weenie of indeterminate <laughs> maturity. A weenie in a rat hole. Nope, no symbolism. <laughs> oh no. That's Fro <laughs> That's Freudian. That's Freudian uh, symbolism. <laughs> I just inadvertently did that. <laughs> uh, I took a, I, th I think I took like a dream psychology course like, as one of my electives in college, just to like fill up a space that was like you know a real easy course to do. And boy, Fro uh, uh, Fro uh, Freud, oh my god, that guy's like, was anything uh, phallic or like rod shaped in your dream at all? Well, that's obviously a penis. Is like, uh, is, was there anything like that represent, uh, represent, is there anything like a hole or anything that could be like a circle? Well, that's obviously a vagina. Like, she's like, cool, that's like most objects, man. <laughs> and it all revolves around that, essentially. It has other stuff there, too, but that's like the big takeaway. Oh, uh, fuck. I didn't notice anything unusual there. Then why do you mention it? <gasps> I don't know. Interesting. The TV. Not a thing. Oh no, ab no, he was Suggesting absolutely the, the one with the issues. Is an intellectual <laughs> wasteland, devoid of any and all worthwhile content. No, that can't be right. I prepared to leap out of the window. Oh, was that the end of your dream? No, wait, I forgot something. Oh, do continue then. Uh, dartboard. I noticed something odd on the dartboard. Oh, something you're shooting for. What was your target? It was a psychotherapy diploma. Interesting. <laughs> Do you secretly want to become a therapist? No, I publicly want to become a therapist. <laughs> oh, you kidder. Please, try to be serious. Be serious, please. Ah, donuts. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, sounds like you and your special guest there were having a little celebration. What did you get? It was a wedding cake, ripe for the toppling. A wedding cake? <laughs> you want to marry her? Uh, well, let me just say, I hope you two will be very happy together. Oh, uh, thanks. Is there anything else? Oh, bulletin board? Nothing unusual there. Closet. I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Yes, we put things in the closet we want to hide away. Things we're ashamed of. Please, Sam, what's in your closet? What's in your closet? A, A parking, parking meter. meter. A parking meter? Why would you possibly be ashamed of that? Well, we did run over the meter in front of our building once or twice. Or every single time we ever parked there. <laughs> I realized there was someone else. Oh. Who it was, it Max. was Max again. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, so I can change things around. But let's just see what happens. Was that the end of your dream? Yeah, I woke up screaming. I woke up screaming. I can see why. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their subconscious desire to marry their mothers. Marry their mothers, okay. I'd like to tell you about another mundane but strangely compelling dream I had. All right. Okay. So we gotta make it all about our happened. mothers. Okay. I so something odd on the dartboard. What was the target? Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Toilet it brush? Was a beautiful picture of a toilet brush. Hmm. Freud warned of this. Tell me, Sam, do you take pleasure in moving your own bowels? <laughs> I take pleasure in moving others. I remembered that I just got. Oh. It so it is a wedding cake. 
It was a wedding. Uh. Mysterious person. There was some... Oh, who was your special guest? I guess it would be it was me. myself. You? Hmm. I didn't even realize that was possible. Oh, sure. Any crazy thing's possible in psychoanalysis. Tell me. No, the usual. Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm fine, Sam. And yourself? Not too shabby. Fascinating. <laughs> Who does your mind come up with this stuff? Just leisurely takes it all. I noticed something weird sticking out of something bothersome. So it's probably a hot dog again. It's a hot weenie of a weenie in a rat hole. <laughs> I noticed something bizarre. Ah, so um, a camera? A hidden video camera. Hmm. I think someone. Nope. I'm proud. So nothing Not to do with the TV. No. Okay. Um. I turned to leave the office. Oh, was that the end of your dream? Yep. Then I woke up screaming. I can see why. <laughs> Whether he jumps out or not. Personality disorder. Maybe, but people with APD are known for their subconscious desire to marry their mothers. Darn. I'd like to tell you about another mundane but strangely compelling dream I had. All right, let's examine your disturbing subconscious desires a bit So further. we'll try this once more. Okay, tell me what happened. Uh, so... <sighs> so it should still be a wedding cake. New. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? Wedding cake. It was a wedding cake. Ripe for the toppling. Oh, is somebody getting married? Hmm? Um. Is there anything else I'm missing in the room? Oh, I noticed something peculiar in the water cooler. Ah, the water cooler, a source of refreshment. What was in it? A gun. A massive death dealing revolver. Do you subconsciously find revolvers refreshing? Oh no, it's quite conscious, I assure you. Hanging on the coat rack was a necktie in the shape of a noose. Oh my. Sam, I'm not sure how to put this, but I think you may need a therapist. Oh wait, I forgot I am one. Hmm. I noticed something peculiar. A source of. So Actually, it was empty. Probably I don't. So not everything needs an answer, I think. I yeah, what? How about this? We'll just someone else. Oh. We'll just we'll go with this. It was Max? Max uh, and a yes, wedding cake. You're... And then I jump out. Was that the end of your dream? Yep, that's it. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their subconscious desire to marry their mothers. I'd like to tell you about another mundane but strangely compelling dream. All right, let's examine your... Okay, uh, tell me what happened. Okay, uh, how about... Some... For a cele... How about... Oh, it was a wedding, wedding cake, cake again. Ripe for the toppling. Oh, is somebody getting... Then I realized there was. Oh, who was your? Uh, how about it Sybil? You. Well, clearly I represent your mother. Wait oh well, second. there we go. Wedding cake, your mother. You subconsciously want to marry your own mother. Well, this is a blow. This is a definite symptom of artificial personality disorder. Yes, I mean, I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Uh, you, cuz woman, man, uh, obviously. Probably. Can I have your hat when they commit you? I wouldn't be sure, surprised too. Uh, that's pro that's probably on point with uh, Freudian uh, dream analysis. Let's try some more free association. So now, free let's association. Talk more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. 
Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Fire away, Grizzly. Lugnut. Lugnut. Uh... So what, like, we have to do something about our hair? Lugnut? Hair? <laughs> Who knew that it would take, like, many days and, uh, and, and many weeks of, like, continuous analysis? We don't just do this all in one day. Maybe the fox? This reminds me of a cat I had once. Trigger word brings up memories of cat. No, no, the fox does. Brings up memories of fox. No, the fox. Oh, forget it. <laughs> Causes subject to forget foxes. Possible Alzheimer's. Fluoride. Uh, fluoride? Uh... Uh, a cactus. Word to the wise. Never put your tongue on a cactus. Or vice versa. Trigger word causes strange culinary impulses. Possible organic malaise fixation. Teasing. <laughs> Teasing? Well, that's Max, obviously. What do you think of this free association? Seems like a crack of weak tea to me, Sam. Weak hmm. tea. Dialogue with imagination. Hey, I'm not. If you. Well, this has been. Am I sane? The jury's still out. Your reactions. Do you think I might have artificial. Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to hairstyling. Violent reactions to hairstyling. Okay. Some more free association. That will tell us. Wait, was teasing a hair hairstyling thing? Elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Use your gun. Ready? Ready as a rooster taking a bath in barbecue sauce. Interesting choice of words. How about pastiche? <laughs> That's not a word, is it? Pastiche. Is that, is that a hairstyling word? I, I, I am going to look that up. Pastiche. An artistic work in the style that imitates another work artist or period. No. So we'll just, uh, we'll just say, yeah, couch. Do you think this would work better if I lie down? Subject wishes to assume supine position. Trigger word apparently inducing sleepiness. Polish. Uh, polish. Can I sit in the tattoo chair while we do this? Me first! Trigger word induces unusual desire for tattoo in subject. Possible symptom of euphoric dyspepsia. Shampoo. Shampoo. Just say whatever comes naturally. Oh, wow, she even, like, gives you a hint at when it's the one. Gun! <laughs> Sybil! No, don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent reaction. To we did it, folks. You We've... should see him at the podiatrists. It could be symptomatic of. We have brute forced uh, a psychoanalyst into giving us uh, a disorder. Wow! It must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide, no. There will be so much uh, vehicular homicide if that happens. Off we go. Where are we going, Sam? Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Give me my symptoms form. Feed it in. Crazy monkey. Oh, great. Oh, I love it. Its eyes even move independently of one another. Off I go. Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. 
Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. Oh, look at this quaint place. This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous... And <laughs> the medicine Indian. smell. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? Pulchritude above doubts. This is Culture's Clubhouse. Jumping Lon Chaney in a boffo fright wig. Brady Culture, I presume. You know who I am? Wow! Evil plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The freelance police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Allow me to explain. <coughs> well, I hypnotize you. I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing you have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. Yeah, you know, that's not much. Ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no, those worthless hacks, the soda puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles. They came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor mass hypnotize the entire <laughs> viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever. How cruel. Is Say it what? over? I think so. So, Whoops. since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my oh, nope, still going on. run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. In yours. yours. Hey, that tickles. Become video delivery man. No, Sam. What? What's happening? Oh, no. Oh, no. What are you doing? I, I don't know. I... You were in on it all along. I told you it was a conspiracy. I told you, <laughs> but then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA. Call Interpol. Call Mickey Rooney. Must deliver. <laughs> Call Mickey Disney. Rooney videos. <laughs> <laughs> Can I control him? Not really. I must deliver videos. Trash can. I must deliver videos. <laughs> Bosco, help me! I must deliver videos. Please, Bosco! Cheese, uh, that helped me before. Oh, don't even try. Oh, well. I love that part. You expect him to do a villain song? Either yeah, that's it. That sounds very, uh... Oh my god! <laughs> His face on Max's body! You love me. You adore me. I am cheese! Video delivery man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. Oh yeah. Hey, Sam, I'm up here. Oh, hi, little buddy. Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy, I'll save you. Come on, bud. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll get you. That's Hurry, a fish. Sam, I've got an itch. I can't scratch. Do, we get, do I still have my stuff? Yeah, I still got gun and dream. <laughs> Die, Brady culture. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> It's like when you're in your dream and you like when you punch someone and it doesn't hurt them. I want to pop him. <laughs> you can't shoot me. I'm incandescent. <laughs> I'm incandescent. Uh. 
Oh, oh, let me just turn you off. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. No! What? No! Oh, that Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. What One is way this time. doing here? Hey, it's loose. <laughs> that was the most fun I've had since I lost my body. Let's do it again, Sam. Hmm, what now? Yay! <laughs> That was great, but Sam, if you'll notice, I'm right back where I started. Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. Oh, oh, I get it. If I just stand right here, take my gun, and shoot the sign. Get Whee! my buddy. Whoa, gotcha. Yay! <laughs> I caught my little buddy. And then I just just smash his face right into uh, Braddy Culture's face. Well, Mr. Culture, I have a surprise for you. Really? For me? No! <laughs> oh, God, that's oh, fucking metal. <laughs> that's Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. <laughs> Eat the rich. <laughs> Eat your demons. Dream, oh, okay. I know this one. Open that up. Oh, hold on. I will be number one in the ratings now, and thanks to Cable for all eternity. Time to blow up this, this mouse. Thing. Big mouse. Eating disorders. That is one fat rat. Oh wait, no. Keep him up like that. Hmm. Oh, look, it's just James's hand. Ooh. I remember that from the LucasArts game. Can I can I take it? Give it to me. No? Okay. Shoot the smoke. Shoot the TV. <laughs> Shooting TV stars only makes them stronger. <laughs> they eat the bullets. Uh strange. Uh, what about... No? Okay. I will be universally loved now. by do every... now. Hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? I'd like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. Welcome to Fat Rat. No, the cheese must stand alone. Oh. <laughs> and another one bites the cheese. Wow, he's been he's been devoured twice in his own uh my own dream. Oh wow. They're gone. They're both gone. It's like antimatter. Uh TV? Wonder Coat what hanger. happened to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity. No! no! Oh yes, that's much better reception. Oh, I love static, it's my favorite channel. Oh, uh. oh no! He's awake! We're done for! Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm. Sounds like a conspiracy the theory. Variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay, but what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter! That hirsute egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy! Those are a lot of big words in that sentence. Any idea how I can curtail this culture crisis? Brady culture. I bow man. Huh, stay away from him. He's got it in for me. Sorry, what? Bosco, no can do. I've got to save my Help me out, Bosco. Come on. Bosco tech device that stymies hypnosis inducing energy beams. Oh, a, a hypnosis blocker? Yeah, I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've got to find something quick. Thanks, Bosco. Well, let's do go to proud. the Let's do let's go to the one uh, the one only other place we know. Uh, psychiatrist. Ooh, a diner. Can't go there, can we? No? Darn. Stinky diner. It's a stinky diner! 
Oh wow, they cleaned up the graffiti quick. I miss it already. <laughs> Terry Mao. Hmm, according to your dreams, you seem to be interested in being eaten. Please, no. Uh, please don't psychoanalyze that. I beg of you. Doc. Max is gone. Well, most of us outgrow him. <laughs> They're still doing this. That megalomaniac Brady Culture's got him. I see. Of course. <laughs> Max is real. Were you implying that Max is imaginary? I wasn't implying anything, though he does seem a little improbable. You see him Quit using different. your word magic. True, but then I'm a psychotherapist. I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist, oh, look, the, know the tissues are called sniffles. Uh, <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Well, my brain matter. It's a gross breach of doctor patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. Hell yeah. It's a huge violation of every reasonable code of it's ethics. It's huge. Of course, but you being a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. Hmm, my lack of solid Oh yeah, it's a colander. Finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. I'd love to help, but engineering is one of the few fields I haven't tried. Sorry. Can we inspect this? diagram this? looks hokey, but it's the only chance I've got against culture's hypno thingamabobber. Well, I need a colander and... What is that? Uh... Oh, whoop. Oh. You know what? Might as well save a game, just in case. We never know, really, right? Uh, so we need to go back to the office, because I think I need to grab it from the TV again. To the office! Max Give me isn't going to like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've got to tell him as soon as possible. So we got that, and... There's no time for that. I've got to rescue... Maybe I can talk to Mouse again. That won't help me rescue... Okay. Then I think we should be... Is there anything in here? Who would have loved that? <laughs> would have loved that? Max. Oh, hold on, be right back. My dog it needs to go outside. So, let me go do that real quickly. Okay, and I'm back. Okay, so... Let's go back over to Bosco's. Hopefully he'll sell us a, a colander. Okay, let's just see if we actually just need to grab a colander. 
No, no, no. Bathroom. That's exactly the sort of thing Max would have looked at. Oh God, he misses Max already. Hey, Bosco. You okay? Yep. No. I mean, I mean, yes. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. Oh, okay. Uh, helmet, Bosco. Bosco. Take a gander at this. What is it? A death threat? Even better. <laughs> Are you it's threatening me? For the latest in Bosco tech innovation. Hmm. Well, let's see. A colander for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I can build this. Just need one thing. What coat it? hanger? Something for that antenna thing at the top. Antenna. Got it. Boop. Boop. Will Boop. Make do antenna do as a make do antenna? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me just add a little Bosco tech innovation. Duct tape. And here it is. The most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world Damn, there's not even tape on that. Happy days are here again. Uh oh, it seems like the old moolah gauge is running on empty. Ah, take it. Just stop that Brady culture. He's got it in for me. You're a credit to dementia, Bosco. You'll have to pay for the next one, though. Can we just put this on us? Uh, I'll put it on inside Brady culture's home. I wouldn't want to be caught wearing last year's fashion. Oh, man. Yeah, I forgot that, uh... <laughs> I forgot that, uh, what do you call it? Oh, no. Leave. Uh, I'll put... Uh, I'll put... There we go. Last year's fashion was, uh, an anti-hypnosis colander antenna. But, you know... I'm not one with the times. I'm coming, Max! Max! I'm gonna save you, buddy! Wow, how nice of them to leave the front door open still. Uh, I'll put it on it. Okay, fine. Rule number three. Always wear protective... If we came back here without the helmet, would we have just been hypnotized again? Hand over the Lagomorph culture. Sam! Boy, That's a lot of rope. to see you. Johann Sebastian here only knows how to play one song. What's this, a rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized episode? <laughs> well, if you really want to watch it again... Zap. <laughs> what? Another triumph for skanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchenware. Oh god, Good the antenna. Culture. Your quiche's cooked. It's being dispersed. Time out for the cavalry! You've colored outside the lines of the law, Brady culture. We see you, and this time we're... Going to get hypnotized again. <laughs> wow. I'm sure you all remember the commands I taught you. So now, my foolish pawns, attack the dog! Uh-oh. Oh. Well, this is awkward. Caffeine rush! That doesn't need another coat. Uh, that doesn't need another coat. Okay. That doesn't Oregon. need another coat. No. Okay. Well. Wait. Where's my Where's my gun though? Hmm. That doesn't need another coat. Oh, do I just give it to a specific soda popper? Attack the dog! Ouch! <laughs> Ow! Look at them go! I'm so I'm so so proud of them. Huh. Uh, it's a stack of those Ibo videos. Yeah, Ibo. Can I go get it's them? It's a stack of those Ibo videos. What do I? Hmm. You may as well give up now, culture. Your oh, hypnotic well. ray thing and Madoodle won't work on me anymore. True, but I have my adoring minions. Yeah, they don't really like you, though. Shut up, they do so. I, I only force them to like me. I feel like making a bad pun about Brady's organ, but I'm a little busy. <laughs> Your poor organs. You okay, little buddy? Oh, sure. I've been amusing our adversary with gory haiku poems while he plays that dumb song over and over. Hey, that's my theme song. Uh, attack me. 
The videotapes. The videotapes. Boons. <laughs> Attack the dog. Ow. Uh, become yourselves. yourselves. <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> Attack the dog. Ouch. Uh, become Brady Culture. Brady Culture. <laughs> Do my evil bidding. Worship the videotapes. What nonsense. Attack the dog! <laughs> okay, one of these is the right answer. Oh, worship now. Uh. Brady Culture. Brady Culture. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. Look at him. And then I punch Attack him. The dog. Oh. Ouch. Okay, well. We are on the right path. The worship of worship Brady, Brady Culture. culture. Ha -ha. Uh, hmm. Attack Brady, Brady culture? culture? No, attack the dog! Ah. Worship me! Worship me. No, me, me, worship me! You're my minions, mine! Mine! Attack me? Attack me! No, me! Attack me! Me, me, me! Yes! Oops! No, wait! I mean. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Smart hey, move, hey. Sam! Mm. You played him oh. like a two-dollar glockenspiel! I learned all my best tactics in the first grade. It's duck season. No, it's wabbit season. Ears, but you know how I always get the K and the V mixed up? You crack me up, little buddy. <laughs> the K and the V. Well, I guess we should dehypnotize these poor saps again and be on our way. Let me! You know how I adore gratuitous violence. Oh, he adores it so much. Well, that's that, Max. Another boot to the pasty ass of crime. Thank goodness this whole hypnotic mind control thing didn't go any further. That could have been really annoying. Uh oh. It's great to be on your show, Myra. I'm a huge fan. I just can't seem to stop watching for some reason. Oh, maybe there isn't uh, an overarching uh, story. Time out for number one. Okay. Okay, can't really skip it. Main menu. Yeah, okay, well, let's go back. I mean, do I have to watch it? Yeah, main max. Save the world credits. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Da -da. Okay, well, I don't think that we're missing anything. Yeah, because we did all the chapters. So, we'll just move on to chapter two. We may not finish it, but we'll play it a little bit. Because it is getting late. So we'll just do it, we'll just play for like 30-ish minutes or so. Jared Emerson Johnson.
Look at him go. Steve Purcell. I think yeah, that that was the the, the original creator. Uh oh. Oh hey, look, it's the uh, the tear gas launcher. Oh my god, he has a Luger. Down, down, down. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Yes. Sweet mother Sweet of double mother je of jeopardy. Double jeopardy backstroking and butterscotch. We're on our way. Who was it? The Girl Scouts lawyers again? <laughs> again. You will never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis Diller? Gavin McCloud? Wink Martindale? Close. Myra Stump, the darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra? As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a Was a coup eater of the bone sure, zone? Yes. She's holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. I don't normally endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly. I think clearly. we've got to drive over to the station right away, or at our earliest convenience. Great, I've been itching to bust some skulls since they canceled my so-called life. Let's see, does any dialogue change? Days, we're gonna finish. I'm still working on getting the rest of the- Nope. Uh, closet. Oh. Ah, Brady Culture's hair. <laughs> it makes for an unwieldy but oh so enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. So anybody home? Hello? I guess not. Okay. Well, looks like mate, can we take the coat hanger again? What do you mean? The reception's perfect. Television. Welcome back, America, to day three and a half of my most special episode ever. You don't want to miss any of our exciting guests. Her hair is like cotton hour. candy. Plus, everyone in the audience is going to be getting a lifetime supply of non-dairy creamer. We don't need non-dairy creamer. We need sleep. <laughs> Please let us go home. I, I miss my family. Vacations and then home entertainment centers. But now, after I work so hard and sacrifice so much, you'd rather sleep. It's all about you, isn't it? I guess nothing I ever do is good enough for you. Maybe. Maybe we'll start using non-dairy creamer someday. That's more like it. You see, there's lots more fun to come, so stick around, America, and sit up straight. Nobody trusts a slouch-up. Good old TV. It's the only way I still feel well-adjusted. Hey, what's up going on, Dragon Cap Man? Just peek it in. Desk. The drawers are just painted on to make the desk seem useful. <laughs> painted on drawers. Uh, that's... What a fun optical illusion. So, oh, there he goes. So it doesn't look like there's anything else. Right? It doesn't look like it. Disturbed individual. Who could it be? Yeah, my sleep lurk. Yeah, oh, don't worry, I'm not going to be streaming much longer, honestly. Probably for another, like, 30 minutes or so. And turn off. Oh, let's head out. Hey, Ben Flynn, thanks for following. Whee! <laughs> uh, let's just... We might as well explore around here. I just realized the the perspective is different. Alien love triangle times. Alien love triangle times. Looks like they're sold out. Has been Brady culture behind bars. He finally found a way to become famous. The police blotter. Ooh, gumball machine. It's it not beans like anymore. Candy, but I'm pretty sure it's fish tank gravel again. I've had worse. I, lo I love like that like low candy, res sure PNG. Again. <laughs> Just fold it around. Samuel. Samuel. What the? 
Oh, you're probably wondering how I know your names. Not Wait really. a second, you're not Bosco. Rips off the mustache. <laughs> you're Good under day, arrest. Bosco. You're coming with us. Good heavens! What is the meaning of this? We're taking you in for masquerading as a man of class and distinction. Who what the devil? Surely you jest. Yes, surely we do. On the bright side, now you can add the police to your long list of paranoia-induced nightmare subjects. Oh boy. Peace posh. Peace posh. What's with the slanted soup strainer, Bosco? You, are you hiding from Brady Bosco? culture? Don't, don't be afraid, Bosco. He's in jail there. now. I am Lord Reginald Rumplebottom. Ah, oh, yes, Reginald. The third. Sam, what language is he speaking? Middle I'm English. Not sure, Max, but I think it it's not Middle English. English. <gasps> no, really. What made you convert to British? Ooh, shaving cream. Everybody's got it in for me. That's why. Yeah, we heard. Well, I had to get a disguise to throw him off the trail. <laughs> They'll never find me now. They wouldn't even know where to begin to look. Clever clogs. Mm, clever dogs. We want to buy something. Mm, yes. Mm. What, what have you got? got? Well, there is still one can of shaving cream the blooming skin bodies haven't gotten yet. Skin bodies? I love what? Shaving. That's funny. I've never seen you shave. I didn't mean myself. And I have a most peculiar device behind the counter. Yes. Yes. We want that. What peculiar device are you so eager to pawn off on us this time? <laughs> it's the latest in Bosco Tech Innovation. A delightful invention I like to call... Is it a megaphone? Based voice modulator. Voice modulator? What's that? I do believe it's self-explanatory. We don't really have time to explain it to ourselves. Why don't you just explain it to us? Well, it alters the frequency of your voice molecules. Yes, there voice you. molecules. We'd like that voice modulator. That will be 30 shillings. Yeah, I yes, got our shillings. shillings in my other pants. How much in dollars? Uh, let's see, uh, 30 shillings <laughs> about 1 million American dollars. A million bucks? No way are we giving out that many tickets. I think we'll have to find an entirely new revenue stream if we want that voice modulator. We're gonna, be, we're gonna have to become a VTuber. <laughs> we'll take your last can of shaving cream, old chap. Splendid, spiffing, tickety-boo. Do you have any complimentary fresh garlic? Uh, nope. Oh boy, they, they still do, do you this. Have I any love it. Fine leather jackets? Uh, nope. Do you have any gumballs the size of your head? Uh, nope. Do you have any plus two plate armor of limitless visibility? <laughs> uh, nope. Do you have any Pez dispensers with the head of infamous Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa? Uh, nope. Do you have any ketchup? Nope. Oh, we got you. <laughs> Drat. Dash it we got him. Do you have any complimentary? Nope. Okay. We, we, then we become full circle. Nothing for us right now. It Thanks, Bosco. Hip hip. Honey nut Cheerios. Honey nut Cheerios. Ooh, what's this? Whipped liverwurst. Uh, uh. Absolutely not. Max, I've got a great idea involved. Nope. We already heard, we already heard that time. again. Whee! Whee! Okay, I guess we'll just take the shaving cream then. I could use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. Pause <laughs> <laughs> off, pig! Dog! Pig dog! The skin bodies rule the streets. <laughs> oh my God! They have a tiny gun. Blind, blind, the little blinded did it again. After him. I mean, tally ho. Oh, sorry, we don't speak English. With like a. Um... Oh god, <laughs> there they go. Where are we going, Sam? <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped. Hey. 
after those rats. do those laughably small wheels move so fast? You'll never catch us! The skin bodies can't be stabbed! Good thing they're a really bad aim. I thought you'd never ask. Ooh. Oh wow, they're fast. You can't the skin bodies can't Oof. Hey, the shaving cream! Okay. Hold oh yeah, look at that. We surf in the car. A stewer little gone bad. He shaved the fur all off his body. Why do we want the shaving cream again? Was there, was there any reason? I just... I mean, I knew we needed it, but... How about let's go in here? Let's see what's going on here. Alien love triangle. Oh, what are they? Uh, is she not Sam, a psychiatrist Max, anymore? How nice to see you. I don't suppose you have any candid photos of little green men feeling frisky, do you? <laughs> frisky? Uh, yes. Yes. By which I mean, huh? It's my new career. I'm a tabloid publisher specializing in the thoughtful analysis of groundbreaking news of interest to myself and others like me. What's it called? The Alien Love Triangle Times. Oh wow, it was all it was all sold out too. There's nothing like good hard-nosed journalism. You said it. It's time to find out the real answers to the real questions. Like what are those, lo those alien love triangles up that? to? No. What do aliens do for romance? Do they love? How do they get their otherworldly thrills? By playing slots in Kino? That would explain why they're always seen in Nevada. <laughs> Uh, what was photo. it you said about a photo? My new tabloid, the Alien Love Triangle Times, needs a cover photo of an extraterrestrial biological entity, or alien as the unwashed masses calls them, caught getting cozy with some of the locals. Sybil, I'd like the record to show that although I support you as a friend, your latest project makes my skin decidedly crawly. Me too, and I like it. My crawling skin and I. Have you learned anything interesting since you started this, uh, magazine? I learned why Elvis had such an otherworldly voice. Oh, Elvis he was an alien. Not an alien. Sure he was. He just wore makeup to cover his emerald green skin. Frankly, Sybil, this project is disturbing, as well as distressingly intimate. Like seeing Stephen King getting a hot butter massage. Oh, you saw last week's issue. Yes. Is Who else is an alien? alien that we might not know about? Dr. Phil. <laughs> okay. Is anybody Who else? else an alien that we might not know about? Yes. Is anybody else an alien that we might not know about? Yes. Oh, what a what a poor loop. It only it only ends there. So we know Dr. Phil and Elvis are aliens. <laughs> Max, are you an alien? You legally have to tell me. So you're a publisher now? What happened to psychotherapy? I've always had a fascination with the suppressed and the sensual, and for telling people too much about both. Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times is a logical extension of all my previous careers. Except maybe Vatican spokesperson. Oh. Are you doing any psychotherapy on the side? Only on space aliens. I guess that narrows your clientele quite a bit. Back no, to Max. Not really. Oh, wow. Psychoanalysis. Quick analysis, for old time's sake. Oh, all right. Think of a number between one and four. Three and a half. Three and a half. Sounds like inverse paranoia to me. What don't you mean by that? Mm-hmm. I thought so. How about another quick analysis? Oh, all right. Think... Uh, three. Three. You have boundless apirophobia. What's that? The usual. <laughs> Do this again. Another quick... Oh, all right. Two. You're selectively audio averse. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Get it? Quick <laughs> sound of oh, that. All right. And one. one. You're harboring feelings of guilt over previous feelings of remorse. That's so true. So you're looking for a cover photo of little green men canoodling, right? Canoodling. Yeah, though I'm kind of desperate at this point. Basically, I can use anything as long as there are three beings in the shot and at least one of them's an alien. 
It is the alien love triangle times, after all. Got it. Sweet. We'll be back. Keep watching the supplies. Max, let me ask you something. Sam, for the last time, it's I before E, except after sustained gunfire. Are you getting... <laughs> are you getting taller, little buddy? Maybe. I've been doing ear exercises. Never Damn, he, he is up to my shoulders now. Wee! This is mimograph. Like some sort of reproductive device. Gross. It's a mimeograph. I use it to print my tabloid. Tissues? I'll take those. Oh, tissue? Is there this the kind with aloe in the sheets for extra softness? Chloroform, actually. <laughs> Chloroform. Some the patients used to get a little rowdy. What's behind uh, this closet? Nothing. Nothing useful in here. I don't know about that. She's got a story here about two hygienists from Walla Walla and an amorphous set. Hey, Walla Walla, Walla. that's in Washington. Is that the one where they walk into a bar at the beginning? Laundromat. But you're close. Okay. Well. We never really got much here. Oh, hey, look, the fox has little alien things on. Oh, and the uh, the pots are also alien heads. How quaint. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da now. Well, let's go to the TV. Where are we going, Sam? The, the TV, TV studio. studio. I mean, honestly, uh, Sam and Max could both be aliens, given how many humans are uh, in this world. Well, here we are, Max. The TV station with programs too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. W-A-R-P. Television so mindless, you can't help but watch. Oddly quiet in here. Mysteriously so. Well, let's find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. I don't Fuck. care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. Oh, little buddy. It's got a falling star on it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder how you'll crash and burn. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The Barrel Haven. From whence comes this storybook set? Clearly from a work of unparalleled artistic vision and emotional expressiveness. No wonder I haven't seen it. Cannon. Can we take this? Can we put this in our pocket? I hope that's just a prop. I hope it isn't. I agree with Max. Broom, little buddy? I don't use brooms, Sam. I necessitate the use of them. <laughs> There's only one explanation for a propeller on the wall. Yes. This TV station is a giant flying battleship. Either that. Battleship or it's Galactica. Just a prop. Huh. Get it? I vote Get for the it. giant flying battleship. I vote for that too. Scaffold. Hey, even the scaffold is just a prop. Yeah, from it's that not, but a real the scaffolding. That solves crimes around the station using advanced forensics and overly dramatic reenactments. Come on, who ever heard of a crime at a TV station? Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. We've come We're, to we're here to the save the world. From the clutches of... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director! Could I Number two, we're no oh, longer wow. holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. Sam, I think You know what? Now I really want to see stuck. Keanu Reeves in Toast, the, uh, the musical. Next! Who's next? We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of- Do not mention that name in my presence. Which name? Myra or Stump? Either <laughs> and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. I'm creative and she isn't. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, what was your question? This person's insane. You and Myra, why the hate? Look, Myra runs her show her way. So, and I uh, love every other is is there art of Keanu Reeves just like on like a piece of toast? Less. There has to be, right? Couldn't care less. If you or he's like playing less, a piece of toast. Do care some, which doesn't really. No, I was right. I could care less because I care even less about what you're saying right now. Oh, burn! Quiet, knucklehead. <laughs> knucklehead. That's what my dad calls me whenever he's joking around. <laughs> Is Sam my dad? What are you doing here, anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranchers trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. The two main characters went on Myra a couple days ago and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom stardom will finally be ours. Oh yes, yeah, sitcom Starting stardom. For the most insubstantial of reasons, that truly is the American dream. It truly is. We'd like to apply for that instant stardom you promised. You want to audition? Well, if there were anybody else here, I'd tell you to forget it. But but it's okay. only you two. All right. What do we do? I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Yeller. Tell oh. me you've seen it. <laughs> I'm not into horror movies. <laughs> Max is going to have to take me out, be dog, dog, out, be bridges, out behind the barn. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes, boy. That is so me. And Sam, you looked up you Keanu Reeves on toast, oh. and there was a print of Jesus on toast. Sam, ready? That's... I need you to act like you've got full hey, we're only we're, we're halfway stand. right, huh? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog. Now, show me rabbit. Um, grr. No, dig deep. You should be just frothing mad. Hmm. Oh, we need something to be. Oh, shave and cream. There we go. Brilliant. Now that's what I call diseased. Thank you. Thank you. First off, I'd like to thank all the little people who. Zip it. Okay, Max, you just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Really? No. <laughs> you're sad. You're despondent. You're grief-stricken. Now, show me the emotion. Uh, boo-hoo? You call that emotion? I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a national Botox reserve. Grief, I said. Damn. Give me grief. Uh... Um, oh, yeah. Well, we just happen to have this. Her? Max. Her? Max. Max. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> now, the fateful moment has arrived. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's just gonna do it. <laughs> Idiot. What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting. Acting. Sam. You should try it sometime. Good thing I had my anti-hypnosis helmet built into my head, or I'd have one too many holes in the head. Bravo. Bravo. Wow. Such realism. Such Referencing to the episode one. I Amazing. You were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't <laughs> want to know. The search we for used the real bullets. Cowboys is over. You're hired. Head to the set next door, and we can begin filming immediately. Let's hurry, Sam. We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left. Oh boy, almost 12 o'clock, so we're cutting it close, but let's just All right, people, push let's forward just a little shot. more. Celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, right. The crew's working on Myra. Myra. Stupid, no talent, fat face. Oh god, fat face. Midtown Cowboys. Wow, did you just instant transmission over here? Weren't you just? I think she just defied the laws of physics. Sorry, you'd be amazed how many times a day I have to do that. Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. Duty. I knew you guys were right for this show. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? 
Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboys, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. Oh. <laughs> My own attorney did that, except it was pigs, and not in an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. <laughs> Yeehaw. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you Where's the animal handler farm. here? Lots of side gags, I'm, I'm afraid to be on set with this cow. Animal. Simple enough? Great. Where's the script? Well, there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're so going to have to ad-lib the show. Ad-lib? Yes, make it ad -lib. a show. Improvise. Well, I guess our regular life has given us plenty of practice. Don't worry, you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically trained, globe theater and all that. Just set him up to do something funny and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script and it's really important to work it in because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of oh. you will have to is save it Pepsi? the line. Me, me, pick me! All right, Max, your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. Something, something about toothpaste. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Let's start taping the show. Okay, now remember, your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! Oh. Look at us go. They're probably hiding a cow. Goodness, who left this lying here? Plate. Uh, lampshade. No. Lamp. No. Not that door. Hey. Give me the lampshade. Let there be light. Lampshade onto cow. Open <laughs> there we go. There's Life chef. Of the party. Oh my god, it's a chicken. Aha! Oh my god, it's a talking chicken. Well, well, well. Who's your guest, boys? Uh, our chef. This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a la range. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. They're naturals. A French chef, eh? I love French bread and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know. It was back in my army days. Canned laughter. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, nature. Competitive horseshoe skipping is a thrilling test of accuracy, strategy, and strength. Even more so if the horses are still attached. Some say that's the only way. Is that poo on the floor? I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. Will you do it, Max? Quick, do something funny. Hey, comedy's hard work. Do we just work it in right now? Try saying your... Oh, uh... Better get the serious toothpaste. No, no, cut! You've got to work that line. <sighs> oh, we do have set back the way it was. Oh boy. How convenient! This way we can shoot a TV show about people watching a TV show. Wonderful. And if the show they're watching is the show of themselves watching, the universe could fold in on itself and explode. Best leave it turned off then. Okay. I we should probably explore. We should probably explore around. There's probably stuff we need, right? Maybe? Can I grab the plate ahead of time? I shouldn't fool with a set. No? Okay. Wall. This could use some sprucing up. Whatever happened to our... I refuse to answer on the grounds that I may incriminate both myself and a prominent local politician. Say no more. Intercom. Hello? Oh, we could just go on to the next one. Oh wow, we're just actually actors in all Look, of Max, these. There's the door to my reset. 
Let's get in there and liberate her literally captive audience. Sam, forget the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh Bliss. Hugh Bliss. Bliss. No, Hugh Bliss. Inventor of prismatology? Help millions unlock the power of their personal color spectrums? Right. Oh, yeah, I remember that Stage commercial. turned happiness guru. Like we didn't have enough of those already. I want to meet him. Fine. But if he magically pulls another rainbow butterfly out of somebody's ear, I'm leaving. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Yeah, we know. And oh, you yeah, fourth are wall. Max, freelance police. <gasps> How do you know? God, those, that, that man's eyes are so open, so wide, just staring into my soul. Show us a magic trick. Dazzle us with a feat of ledger domain, why don't you? Okay, I'll show you the magic of prismatology in action. Pick a color, any color. Ochre, ochre. No, Mo. Burnt sienna. Uh, how about a color I've heard of? Hmm. Pick a color. Yeah, well use green. real colors. Mmm, green. It's not easy being green. Oh, but it is with magic. Oh. Ah. I know what you're thinking. Is it real? <gasps> oh my god, he needs to be green! Because he he'll so he'll be an alien. Say, you bless. Can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook of instantly forgettable memories? Splendid idea. I wish I'd thought of it. Oh, and in fact I did. He hence the camera. He. Now gather round. This man don't have shoes on. Take the picture. Bye. Magic. Okay. Say chocolate covered puppies. Gross. Chocolate, chocolate covered, covered puppies. puppies. So where's the picture, Magic Man? Oh my. I seem to have misplaced it. Hmm. Check your pockets. Check your pockets. Maybe I left it there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this man's crazy. Okay, Sorry cool. To interrupt your little joy fest, but I'll never fear, pretty lady. She pretty lady. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, our game show host went on Myra hours ago, and he still hasn't come out. Think you can fill in till he gets back? Can a butterfly fly? Yes, it can. Oh, what do I do? When a contestant comes to the party, <laughs> just read him a question from the card. <laughs> then, when he gets it wrong, insult him and tell him to get off the Well, stage. the bunny has, uh, oh, no, you know, the no, bunny's no. not naked. Prison he has all his fur on him, so he's, everyone, he's fine. No matter what. Right, just read the cards. Okay. I still love you. <sighs> oh, is, is this... Oh, wait, uh, maybe it won't work exactly. We still, we need a picture of him and her. I think. I bet. Here. Okay, you know what we'll do? We'll we'll finish this set, the Midtown Cowboys. Then we're gonna call we're gonna call it good there. Uh so let's, let's do it again. Go with that scene, shall we? See if you can squeeze in some gross out humor this time. Ready? Action! Gross out humor. So we do need to use the 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 cow pie. Oh, cow pie. I bet it's gonna... Goodness, who left this lying here? I bet we're gonna need to pick up that Let cow pie with uh, the plate, most likely. Lampshade. Cow. Boop. There we go. Life of the... Look at that chicken. Aha! I know you've got a... Well, well, well. Who's, Who's your, your guest? guest? Boys? This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a la range. And frog's legs. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love. I, I, I like the French. concept that this cow is just a normal cow. Myself, you know? it was but if it does have a hat on, it's technically. Like a sentient being, like that chicken that has clothes on. You just gotta put clothes on things. Max is the only uh, exception from the rule. Uh, do you think I have to still talk to them? Um, uh, we'll just go ahead and pick up this cow pie. The cow is in character, on and off of stage. Oh, he just kicked it underneath. 
Say, what's this? That's a tail. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that you said? Uh Yeah, Mugai uh Mugu Gai Pan. He a delicious Mugu food. Gai Pan. It's a French pan. the chef has just made. Whoa, super! I'll try some of that. Where's the plate? Am I am I am I go, really going I can't to feed? Help but feel this is all terribly wrong somehow. No, this is very wrong. No. No, don't. Uh. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. That hurt That's me in my soul. There's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Kentucky bluegrass, I think. <laughs> Kentucky bluegrass. This moo moo whatever stuff is really good. Uh, what's it called in English? Cow pie. Really? Well, that's <laughs> funny. It sounds just like... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you can stop now. Please. Now. <clears throat> Better get the serious toothpaste. Zoom in. And cut. Phew. That was comic gold. <laughs> the <laughs> the <network laughs> to love it. Naturally. I'll be in my dressing room refreshing my muse. Don't call me for at least an hour. Oh my god. Nice work, you guys. Here's a clip for your reel. Thanks. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. Wonderful. Okay, and I think we're good here. Um, <laughs> what a star! I can't believe I got to work next to Sir Chicken. Cause yeah, so we got Love Hugh. We got Midtown uh, Cowboys clip. I think uh, that's probably all we need to do here. We'll save just in case. Um, other than that, I think I'm going to call it good. It is getting pretty late. Um, I may stream tomorrow. If not uh, more of this, uh, me and B might have something going on. We might play uh, a game called Wilmot's Warehouse. And maybe I'll just even do a, do uh, a double feature. We'll play Wilmot's we Warehouse earlier, and then when that's over, maybe I'll continue Sam and Max. We'll find out. I hope everyone has a good night. Oh, uh, let me see. Do, do, do. Okay, yep, yeah, cool. Good night, everybody.